proxies take advantage of noise effects and paint effects to create invisible stylization objects that can be placed anywhere in the scene, stylizing all the elements that are inside or behind it. Proxies are extremely versatile, as these allow a high level of control affecting the entire image, as well as a low level of control affecting only a specific part of an object. Let us dive right into it with this scene example. For our first example, let's bleed the elements found at the coffee table. To achieve this, you would normally need to paint each of these objects with a bleeding effect using paint effects. However, this takes some time as the vertices need to be painted from all points of view. So this is the perfect job for a proxy. Create a simple sphere, open the material presets and load the proxy on the sphere. The sphere automatically becomes invisible, but it's still there. With the proxy selected, flood the bleeding effect on the vertices and place it on top of the table. You will see that the proxy is driving the bleeding effect of all the objects that are inside and behind. You can resize the proxy as desired, but there is a sharp edge where the bleeding proxy is clearly noticed. To fix this, select the proxy material using the matte tool and slide in some feathering. Now you have a much nicer bleeding volume. For our second example, we have a camera with a plane attached to it. Let us make a proxy out of this plane and create an art directed 2D filter. To do this, let's see what the camera is viewing. We can't see much now because the plane is opaque. So select the plane and load a proxy material preset. Now the card is invisible and we can add stylization to it. With a proxy selected, let's add some dilution by flooding the vertex control a couple of times. This dilutes the entire image as the card is placed over the entire rendered area. To focus the point of view towards the center, let's select all vertices of the plane, reduce the selection once using the smaller than button on the keyboard and accumulate some pigment. Reduce the selection again and accumulate more pigment density. Continue to do that until you reach the center. We just created a 2D radial density filter that is attached to the camera. You can also emulate this by using cookies. These cookies will multiply the control parameters so you can add any shape you want to your filter. Proxies can be placed everywhere and since they are geometry based, can be art directed with noise effects and paint effects to fully control the effects in your scene.